right, but then I share that to LinkedIn right you see the videos are here but look they're four minutes four minutes 50 seconds it's the same video well same Jean-Serge Gagnon today we're going to talk about content syndication being omnipresent on all the platforms the right way to do it and the better way to do it obviously we can talk about the best way to do it but we're going to talk about how you can create content for all the platforms using a simple process and we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right, there's different ways to create content syndication. What we mean by syndication is creating content and being everywhere, posting on all the platforms, being omnipresent as Gary Vee would talk about and we're going to talk about how to do that in just a second before I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis484.jsgagnon.com because obviously I'll be sharing my screen and showing you more of what I'm talking about so let's get right to it let's talk about the differences right if I go here I'm on YouTube I have videos that I'm posting on YouTube right they're like 40 40 30 40 minutes right they're, those are the videos I post pretty much every week there's other things but mostly these are the videos uh, that are my con that you're watching right now it's going to be on here after this video is done it's going to be in there right uh, but then I share that to LinkedIn right you see the videos are here but look they're four minutes four minutes 50 seconds it's the same video well same video not exactly the same that's what we're going to get into in a second you see it's four minutes 50 50 seconds instead of being 30 or 40 minutes I go to Facebook again I've got the videos right here that I'm sharing on Facebook as well which are again sourced from the same videos we'll talk about how I do that Instagram reels I've got reels now the difference with the reels is that they're vertical right so I actually have like a header here but these are you know these are the same videos or similar videos they're from that same source Twitter same thing I'm posting but see these ones are only a minute like they're less than two minutes they're but they're videos that are you know from the same um the same source and on TikTok it's not the same but I'm also you can also see I'm sharing on TikTok as well let's go back to our YouTube All right, so let's talk about what do I mean by content syndication right syndication is the process of taking something and putting it everywhere else uh, like newspapers used to they still do that I suppose right you create an article a writer will create an article he'll post it to the news feed which is the news uh is it called news feed I, I don't know if that's the actual term but anyways it's basically where every writer puts their articles that are available for all other publishing houses and so newspapers can pick up stories I don't know if there's a royalty involved or whatever but anyways that's not that's not the point the point is that they can take that article and syndicate it to a bunch of different newspapers same thing with shows on tv they can go to multiple stations right that's called syndication so you want to do that too you want to be on multiple platforms but you know here's the thing right when we talk about the platform each platform has a difference right so if you're going to create content and you're going to post on all the platforms you kind of have to be aware of that you can't really you know I mean there's you could say okay I'm not going to create anything longer than you know a minute or two minutes which lots of people do right they create something that's about a minute or two and they post it everywhere because everywhere allows about that if it's a video right then or they'll post images or just text and just copy and paste it everywhere right and that kind of works too but what if you want to have some you know better content some better content like kind of I mean um, obviously people create better content than me too but you know I have I have a, a 30 minute 40 minute video that I create every week and I want to I want that to be my content that goes across everywhere right so I can't take that video and post it on Twitter Twitter has a two minute video maximum limit 
Other platforms have 15 minutes maximum. <laughs> now, Facebook allows you, you know, like a couple hours, just same as Twitter. Uh, I mean, not Twitter, uh, YouTube, right? And LinkedIn, I think, has a 15 minute limit. Uh, Pinterest has a certain limit as well, depending on where you want to post it, right? There's uh, now there's uh, there's uh, uh, the threads, right? I don't know what the limit is on thread. I haven't really looked into it, but there's threads, and then there's anyways, there's a whole bunch of different platforms out there, right? Uh, and you want to create so th this is the thing there's a few ways that you can be omnipresent right we'll talk about that too being omnipresent is being everywhere right so you can do it just by posting content and just sharing it to all the platforms like you could post a YouTube video and take the link to that YouTube video like you know if I go to YouTube here I can do that I can come on this video here and I can just share it right share uh, uh share it right click on this and lets me share it to facebook to twitter to pinterest to whatsapp to an email you know all sorts of different things right so the platforms have all these share things because the platforms all want you to share their stuff to other platforms of course they do but that doesn't share you that shares the platform more than anything else and the other platforms don't really like links so they're not gonna sh they're not gonna let others too many people see your Thing, so that's not the best way to do it right it's not the best way to do it you can also number two you can also do this you can create content for each platform individually so I could for example create a 30-minute video for YouTube then a 30-minute or then a 10-minute video for Facebook then a two, you know five-minute video for LinkedIn and then a five-minute video for Pinterest and then a two-minute video for Twitter I could create all those separately upload them all separately and post them all separately and have really good individual content that's different on every single platform you certainly can do that but you know that takes a lot of time it takes a lot of your time and uh and you know you can't do that every day unless you don't unless you don't have a job and that's all you're doing but right you could do that that would certainly be great but it takes a lot of time right the other option is you create content free platform but you just hire somebody to post it for you right so you could record a five minute video a 15 minute video and you know take pictures and things like that and just give them to a team and they'll take care of posting to the platforms you certainly can do that they can even write stuff for you because you know writing isn't as personal as videos or images right so you can't you can't fake you can't do a video for somebody else if you're trying to be you know the the person that people are relating to they you know your team can't do videos for you right because you have to be in the video right and pictures the same thing they can't take pictures of themselves and post they they it has to be you of course they could take pictures of you uh and you know if you have a team obviously they will do that sometimes but the point is that if you're trying to create personal brand if you're trying to track do attraction marketing with a with yourself as the attractive character right the person that people are going to be attracted to being a fan of whatever you need to be doing that so you still need that so the other thing here I was talking about the number two right creating content on each platform and individually post it yourself I mean the content creation takes a while but then posting it yourself also takes a while because you got to go to each platform you got to create the post you know write it up and then post it then then record the next video go to the next platform write it up and post it right the other option is you can use software to create unique content for you now you might be thinking AI you know the automated things and the tools that do it for you and all that stuff I mean that's not that's that's not what I'm talking about although you could use those to help along but I'm talking about the software that I use and I actually have been using it for a long time and you can use it too you can try it out for free and the thing is that that software will create individual pieces of content for you like this is what I use to create my Instagram videos I take my my main video I take a part of it out and then I add these headers and I add the subtitles to the video and then that becomes you know IG, IGTV format video for Instagram right I mean IGTV is not around anymore it's called reels now but that's the format the video the 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 vertical format video right and then when I post on Facebook um I take only four minutes right four minutes 51 seconds of the video I add a, a header to it and that's all done for me by the software right so same thing with the, the LinkedIn videos and um 
and for Twitter for X right the Twitter videos are only two minutes so how do I do that right how do I do that so when I when I use the software when you can use the software you can generate all these different things so the two minute video here right let's just go check it out so I'm just going to pause it here and kind of show you so this is two minute video right so it starts off with a little intro which is a snippet of the video and then it's and then it gives me like this intro right here and then it's the video that starts here right so this is the video as it plays right now and then when we get then we get to this uh this like you know sp sub intro I forget what that would be called but and then we go back to the video where it just says that this was part of an episode and you got to go check it out because it it's only two minutes you can't post the whole video on Twitter right so that's the two minute video that is used for the for the, that the engine generates for me so then I have the five minute video so the five minute video is very similar let's pause it it starts with an intro at the beginning uh, then the little uh, explosion thing then the video starts <coughs> keeps going then it goes to whatever the content is so it lasts longer right it lasts longer and it still ends with this part which basically says you got to go to uh to, to watch to if you want to watch the whole video you got to go find that whatever, right all right so that's the two minute and the five minute video then I have uh what else do I have I have the um, the audio file so this is the audio file not it's just the audio out of the video that I use for uh, my podcast and I have images like this for example which is a gif a gif that I can use for a thumbnail or for and it's got an overlay of a little play button on it like the main like there's also a main gif right just the regular gif right here okay where are they this one here so this one is just a gif with nothing in front of it but I have the engine creates for me one with the play button on it same thing with the thumbnail thumbnail I have a thumbnail with the, the the little play button on it and I have another thumbnail that doesn't have uh, where is it video thumb that this one here I have another thumbnail that doesn't have that on it right so those are the images I can use in uh, YouTube for the thumbnail for example you don't want to have the image with the play button on YouTube but in my blog post I take the image that's got the play button on it so people know to click it and they end up on the YouTube video right for example right so my blog post and then uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of other things here and what all that is is pieces that are needed to put together the big thing the the, the videos the, the end result right so now what what I want to do because I haven't done this yet so what I want to do is I want to create I want to create the videos I need for um for the little intros because I don't have like you know like my YouTube video uh is is just this video here I don't have anything that says you know um please subscribe I would really appreciate if you enable the notification bells to see the new videos that come out like talk to the YouTube community about the video they're about to watch right introduce myself tell them what I'm about what I, what I do but then talk to the YouTube people with YouTube specific words same thing with Facebook I don't talk about specific Facebook stuff Instagram Instagram specific stuff right because Facebook is follow or like my page <clears throat> well it's not follow I guess I don't even know this stuff likes on pages right <clears throat> yeah oh yeah I guess it still says 177 likes 258 followers not sure what the difference is now I guess but that would be something I would say for Facebook I would say you know I'd appreciate it if you could like my page it's JS Gagnon <coughs> and uh if you could follow as well that would be great and if you can comment on the video here that would be fantastic I would really appreciate it so without further ado here's the video right and then I could do something for uh, for Twitter right I could say Twitter I could say um I would lo love if you could like the video and if you could follow my account that would be great and you know those kinds of things right the wording has to be for the platform right <clears throat> you could also I could all even say something like hey Twitter friends how's it going right instead of uh, you you know let's say YouTube but actually yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do just because I want so now what I what I'm going to do here if I go back to this so what I'm going to do here is I need so 
I need uh, four little intro videos for these platforms and maybe I need more right but I I'm just gonna put over here so number one <coughs> YouTube number two Facebook number three LinkedIn I don't know if I need it for LinkedIn but I guess I could <coughs> not really sure but that's not well whatever number four Instagram number five Twitter or X and do I have another one that I would want I mean I've got my SoundCloud I've got my uh, I've got TikTok maybe I've got threads there's you know a bunch of them but let's just not worry about let's just do these four here so three and four so Twitter or X right so now um so now what I would do is I would actually record a short video I can actually do it on my phone and have that video ready right so if I go into my phone here I can actually put that as the video that I'm going to use for my channel right so I can like for YouTube I would go vertical uh, horizontal for um, Instagram I would go vertical and for Facebook also I would go horizontal uh, so YouTube Facebook Instagram and Twitter Twitter can also be horizontal like this so I would just record a little video that says hey uh, you know uh, I kind of have to think about it right now let's me give it some thought but basically I think I should say hey Facebook friends or Facebook hey Facebook family right um no I think it should be Facebook friend because one of the things I do is I talk to one person right I want to talk about hey all you guys right I'm talking to one person there's one person watching my video whenever they're watching it right so you need to do that too you need to be talking to one person right so let me just actually do that right now and uh, then we'll we'll continue on yeah so something like this right so let's say I record this and let's do that right now hey Jean-Serge Gallo here and thanks for watching my YouTube video I'd really appreciate you it's a subscribe obviously and if you really get some value from this and don't forget to enable notifications so let's get right to it whoops I didn't even record I didn't press the record I was on a, I was on photo and I took a picture of myself instead of a video right so let's do that again let's do that like this and let's do that like this so there we go so let's just start like that and do a recording hey Jean-Serge Gagnon here and welcome to my YouTube channel I'd really appreciate a subscribe and if you can get your notifications make sure you enable the notifications so that you don't miss on any of the new videos so let's get to the video so I don't know how that is right but let's do a Facebook one same thing with Facebook hey Jean-Serge Gagnon welcome to my Facebook page really appreciate you watching this video don't forget to like and follow my page and also go uh, comment on the video if you have any questions just go ahead and let me know and we'll get to the video now so that's Facebook now let's do Instagram so Instagram will be vertical like this right so let's do vertical for Instagram I've got to get my hand in the right spot so I can press the record button so let's put it right in the middle of the screen like this hey Jean-Serge Gagnon thanks for coming to my Instagram channel I really appreciate you and I hope you can give me a follow and a like on the videos and if you have any questions obviously go ahead and comment below we'll see you let's get the video going so these are obviously not perfect uh, and I might redo them but I just want to get them out so that you can see what we do with them in the uh, content segregation engine which I was showing you a second ago and so I guess we have the last one which is the um the Twitter one so let's talk about Twitter so let's do that right now like this all right like that right here can make sure I don't cover the um the microphone okay so hey Jean-Serge Gagnon welcome to my Twitter account I really appreciate you being here and I'd really appreciate a follow and of course if you have any comments and go ahead and ask any questions in the video and we'll let's go to the video now that's obviously I have to do better I have to be like saying what I'm about I'm just saying my name there and I'm just saying welcome to the channel or whatever 
anyways so let's just get these videos off my phone onto the computer here so we can kind of uh, walk, talk about the videos so just let me do that all right so now that I have those little videos let's talk about what I'm going to do so you can see right here on my screen I've got these I put I brought them in from my phone I'm going to redo them obviously because they're not exactly what I want but just to show you how this process works so basically inside of uh clicky course you can go to the syndication engine so let me just put the link in there for you do I have it here syndication engine you just go to clickycourse.com slash syndicate and you can set up an account a free account and you can get all this set up but the first thing you got to do is uh you have to uh set up a series and prepare the content you want in the series so in our case let's talk about what we want so we want to have so what so what we want in uh video syndication syndication videos right so number one it'll be Facebook intro plus uh, actually it has to be the snippet snippet plus Facebook intro I'm not sure what's going on with my keyboard here I think my keyboard is not working right <laughs> as if it's my keyboard right okay Facebook's intro plus uh CIS intro plus video all right so uh and this is total let's say 10 minutes I can make it 10 minutes number two I have the snippet so the snippet is the little short video that I extract out of the big video as a kind of an intro or beginning of video it's the same snippet right so then I have plus the YouTube intro plus CIS intro plus video full let's just say full video right we don't hit it doesn't need to be trimmed for this one so this will be actually plus actually 10 minutes well maybe not 10 minutes but let's say nine minutes because it's the the, the little beginnings are longer if you if they're not but and then plus the trailer I need the trailer here right so I need the trailer but for the the YouTube I don't need the full the trailer I need the full so number three I want the snippet plus in IG intro plus CIS intro plus let's say nine minute video I mean I'll make it five five minute video or 4.5 minute video and trailer right so this one has that and number four oh and also the uh yeah so snippet plus twitter in intro plus cis intro oops intro plus 1.5 minute video plus trailer so the the reason is that like each of the pieces lasts a different amount of time right so if I go back to the clicky course and I just edit my series here I can see what I have in here as videos right I have um so the inputs I have logo drop energy I have different intros here these are video intros that I can use these are the names of them right and if I look at the LinkedIn uh, footer that's input file so IGTV header file podcast background so this is the header file for IGTV right so if I look at it you can see that that's basically full resolution version so that's basically the the header that goes on top of the IGTV video right and if I cancel that then I have the podcasting one basically looks like this and that one there is the podcast because it's a square and in the middle I put the image with the, the, the current title and things like that right I'm gonna cancel that but then I have um actions that I want to do so I'm going to import I'm going to upload my videos here I'm going to upload a video I'm going to call this uh, Facebook intro so Facebook intro and I'm going to choose a file <coughs> go into my downloads 
it's right there so Facebook enters this right here I'm going to save that all right so I'm going to import my Facebook intro like that so that's going to be the Facebook intro and we're at 24 minutes okay so let's just try to get I'm gonna I'm gonna come back when they're all uploaded all right so I've uploaded them all so now let's just take a look so we got this Twitter intro which is 14 seconds let's put that in our notes here Twitter intro is 14 seconds so the other one is the YouTube intro this one is let's get it to load up here I probably could look in the, in the documents instead of be faster I'll do this about 14 seconds all right so 14 seconds YouTube intro is also 14 seconds all right pretty good 15 seconds now this snippet is 10 seconds so the reason I'm putting these in here is because I kind of want to track how much of the video I want right so this will be so the IG intro let's go back to the documents I have instead my downloads so the so IG intro is 14 the Twitter is 14 YouTube is 14 and Facebook I made them all 14 seconds wow that's pretty good <laughs> 14 seconds and 14 seconds now the CIS intro is uh, not here right here is I think I'm using the supernova intro I'm pretty sure that's what it is let's just press play on it here don't need the sound but yeah that's the one there okay so this one is oh I should have checked this, this the length I want to know the length of it so nine seconds okay so the supernova intro is nine seconds so this is the nine seconds right here these are all nine seconds just uh, put that up here so you can kind of see it better all right so I resize this let's make it longer. okay so now we have the trailer so the trailer is the end so let's go to the trailer uh, whoops edit series so the Facebook the trailer is going to be trim outro is this one here and that's just the name I gave it right because the names of the files don't don't matter you just you have to give them names you want but I gave it this name which is a 28 second video so that's 28 seconds now if I was to and this is 28 seconds so now if I want whoops let's go on 28 seconds 28 seconds now if I want this to be an exact length right if I wanted this Facebook one to be you know 10 minutes then I would basically take 10 minutes I would subscribe to 28 subscribe to 9 subscribe to 14 subscribe to 10 and that would give me you know how long I want out of the main video to be inserted in here right so now what I need is because the way the engine works is it creates uh, new videos from two pieces at a time so I would need to create so now I would need to create so num so number so this is what I need let's just take these numbers out because we don't need these numbers so number one so number one so create Facebook intro snip let's call it like that number two is create uh, yt intro snip so that'll be so that'll be snippet plus Facebook intro so it'll be this video here all right it'll be that like that and this one here will be this video here what happened here I press 
pressed the wrong key. Okay, let's go back and find the file. Yeah, so this will be not sure what I did there, but anyways, number three, I need to create the IG intro snip. So this will be this one here, right? It's kind of like a pretty, you know, obviously you can kind of guess the next one, what the next one will be, right? So number four, I'm going to need to create the uh, Twitter intro snip. Maybe I could call it X, right? Because it's X now, but anyways. So I, I don't know how long that'll last the, the, that we keep calling it Twitter, right? Or if it's going to go back to Twitter, you never know, right? But whatever. Okay. So then after I've created those, then I need to create uh, number five. I need to create FD intro uh, CIS. Intro CIS. So that'll be FB intro snip plus CIS intro. All right. And then let's just do that again like this. We'll just do so six, seven, and eight. And this will be instead of Facebook, it'll be YouTube, IG, and Twitter. So it'll be Twitter, IG, and YouTube. All right, so after we've done these, we go for number nine. We want to create, um, let me see here, I've got that. Okay, so we want to create the end nine minute, which is basically this here, nine minute video plus trailer. All right, and number 10, we want to create the, uh, and five minute which of course uh, is going to be this one we don't need to worry about creating this other one the full video right because we already have that and number 11 we want to create the end two minute so that's going to be for twitter right so this is going to be what that is right here all right and then the last section and I know this is kind of overwhelming, overwhelming. like I said you can go to clickecourse.com slash syndication it'll take you to this page here uh, let's just show you what it looks like um, and I'll put the link up here for you so you can go to that right uh, syndication so you can go to that that'll explain kind of what the syndication engine is and what you can do with it how I've been using it right there's even um, I, I don't think it's on there but there might be at some point a replay where you can actually watch a webinar I did that kind of explains the whole thing but you basically go there you get a free account you can actually try it out for one all you got to do is create a free account and then you can set up your syndication engine and uh, create your first syndication content so what you do with that you get a video like me a 30 minute video and you pass it through the engine and it'll generate for you all the pieces you need so now we're just kind of going through the pieces that we need to be uh, creating for uh, what I've been wanting to do which is you know personalize the beginning of all my videos that I'm posting everywhere right so now if I go back here let's go keep going so now what we want to do is we want to create let's go the link out of there too okay so now what we want to do is we want to create the final uh basically the Facebook video right so this will be this will be the intro Facebook intro CIS right here plus whoops plus the end let's say nine minutes because we're doing nine minutes for, for Facebook number 13 is we want to create the YouTube video so the YouTube video will be the YouTube intro CIS and with the full video all right so that's what that is number 14 is going to be create the IG in I treat IG video and that'll be the IG intro CIS 
plus the uh, plus the end five minute right and then we want to have number 15 is create the Twitter video which will be the Twitter intro plus the end to minute so there you go I mean that's basically how you create the the, the 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 pieces you need so you need to create the pieces so we create this piece here which is two pieces right and then we create this piece here which is these two pieces this piece is that one so it's kind of like a you know it, it's a selection right you can create the first piece from the first two pieces then you create the second piece from the new piece from the first two pieces plus the third piece right so you end up with a new piece then you can create the fourth piece with the third piece and the so anyways it's kind of complicated to kind of visualize but you kind of got to got to go through the process and I can certainly help you with that and right now uh we're at uh I'm not really sure how long how long we've been going because I had to restart the video the recording I'm going to cut those put these together but yeah so I mean this is the process and I obviously I can't go through showing you all this right now we're going to save that for the next episode where we're actually going to go in here and we're going to go into edit series and we're going to create a new output we're going to create a new output a video output so basically we just say we want this and we want this we want to do you know put two videos together so we're going to kind of talk about that we're going to go through the process with those four videos that I just created there the, and so create the whole sequence and show you how that worked and then that means that starting uh, I guess in a couple of weeks I'm gonna start to have my Facebook intro videos and everything else and uh, yeah and you'll see how you can do it too right so we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.